Hello and welcome to Unity 3D C Sharp. This is Lesson 23 and this is on modifying the HTML5 document. Make sure that you've gone through the previous Lesson 22 uh, on uh, setting it up for HTML5. Now, as you recall from the previous video, this is what I had in my folder where I had my HTML5 example.html. And I had my two JavaScript uh, files, which were automatically made for me. If I double click on this again, just as a review, I get this huge screen. And um, let me just bring it in through the browser. And it's a bit overwhelming. But what I want to do is I want to change the size of this uh, view of my Unity game. And I also want to put something up here that tells about me, who I am uh, as the game developer. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to um, minimize this for now. I'm going to make sure I can see the extensions. And I set up my folder and Windows or whatever system I'm using so I can see my file extensions. Uh, I want to uncheck the uh, hide file extensions of known data types. I right click on that. I'm going to open it with uh, Notepad. And I left click on Notepad. And there's all the stuff we saw before. I remember from the last video, we changed the doc type. What I want to do is I want to come down here, and you see where it says variable bar configuration, and you see the width and the height. I want to make it so that my un original Unity game window is a bit smaller. I can always right click on it and make it larger if I want. I can make it full screen. But for now, I'm going to change this to a width of 500, and I'm going to change it the height to a height of uh, 300. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And you see right here where it says style type uh, text.css. This is the CSS. And here's the body of uh, what's going to happen to the body. Right now the background color is white. I want to change that to black. I want to make it look pretty cool. So I'm going to go B L A C K, and I and I need to change the color. And this will actually be the font color. I need to change that to something other than black, or you can't see it. I'll make it silver. S I L V E R. Okay. Now I'm going to scroll down further. Keep scrolling down here. Keep scrolling down till I come to body. You see where it says uh, the end of the head element is right here, and the beginning of the body element is right here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and hit the Enter key and tab over, uh, space over, put an H1 tag in, and I'll put a welcome to my game. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is close the H1 tag. And now I have a complete H1 element. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come here and file and do a save. And then I'm simply going to close this. Now when I double click on this and this comes up, you see what it has? It has welcome to my game. The only thing that I don't have is I don't have this centered. Now what I could do is I could right click on this and go full screen and now Bang! It's full screen. I don't know if you can see that on, on the uh, what it's done to the thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I want to make it so I can center this. Notice it says "Welcome to my game," and it's now black, and this is now in silver, and the screen is now smaller. All right, so I'm just going to minimize this. Uh, let me let me tab out of here. That's the old style. Uh, I'm going to come back in here and put "Open with Notepad." I'm going to come. And there it is in, in all its glory. I'm going to scroll down here to where it starts on the body. You see where it says body right here? Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the enter key and put a space there. And I'm going to, I'm, I'm using the space bar, I'm going to type center, E N T S E C E N T E R. It has not a spell. And then use the uh, uh, greater than sign over here, and then scroll all the way down down to the bottom, and just before just before the body element ends, right down here, okay, right down here is where it ends. 
right here, I want to close the center tag. And that's the forward slash. Okay, and that's what I did. And I always want to make sure that I come up here when I do that, that I go File and Save. Save it. Then come back over here, close this. Now double left click. And now it's centered in the document. Let me bring this over so you can see it. Okay. And, uh, and there it is. Okay, that's it for, for this uh, tutorial. Be sure to watch the next one on how to clean up this mess. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks.